Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your... Hmm... Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? <laughs> Swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick! While the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to a summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested.
Poor gross little sucker fish. It can't breathe. And I should kill it. No one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Thank <laughs> you. 
tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! <laughs>
Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer of Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo! I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean... I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gagalore. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gagalore! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 hoo Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gagalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gagalore. For freedom! city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gagalor. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good.
guy needs a duffel bag tag. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gargalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminals. Earlier tonight, Gargalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnappy children do not harm the brains. No, wait. I spoke too fast.
destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all-volunteer navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolo. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Not get caught stealing children. Tunnel Gargalore. We have to get through that or we'll never get to Pachamara Island. But I thought... There is no I in T, Gargalore. Yeah, but there's an I in Squish, so watch it. I'll go take out your laser tunnel, but then we're gonna talk about who's running this revolution. Freedom! 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 So, this big monster, is that the best you could do? We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. Doesn't look like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. Sorry about him, Gargalore. He's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the Resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action.
see the genius of our plan, Gargalor. First we print flyers. Then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Six months? If you don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we are busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within the week. We don't have a replacement blimp, you know. Pick it! Hey! What are you doing up there? Careful! My chai tea! Thank <laughs> you. 
we're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Goggle War situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Gogalore. I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy has decided to pull out what they're most famous for. Airplanes! So rest assured, we can all look forward to Gogalore's imminent death. To seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take them quickly under the lake to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogolor, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel, to get to Kochamara Island, and destroy Kochamara Tower! The thing is that, uh, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogolor, we... Uh, uh... We just think it best to do where... Uh, We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gargalor. Yes, that, and for freedom. Freedom! 
Tom Sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent lug-faced navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers. Now, Kochamara himself will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gagalore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often don't do so much. You can, Gagalore. I know it's you in there, Coach. I don't know what you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Kochamara so does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. I...
people of Munfishopolis. I'm sorry I let you down. <sighs> Finally. Okay, Tower. Get ready for Gogalore. control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab! I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> <sighs> Good one. Fish, you know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady. 